So the first thing that you want to do is pick a dark marker to go over your name. That way we can always see your name. It doesn't have to be black. It could be purple, green, really just avoid yellow or peach. Yes, it'll be both names, left side and right side like I have here. A couple of basics for working with markers. You should always start with the lighter color and layer back on top. If you look on my feet here, you cannot see the yellow laces. Here, I needed to have done the yellow laces first and then I can color around them. A couple options when working with the markers is to think about how to do textures. So if I started with yellow skin, I'm gonna use the side of the marker. If I color faster, it's going to make a smoother, um, smoother layer of that color. Then I can take the dark color I want to do and draw on top. So for here, I'm going to do scales and I do that just by connecting the letter U, kind of like I'm writing in cursive with the letter U. If I wanted to do fur, I could have an orange background, again, using this edge of the marker, and I just need to draw short lines on top. Or longer lines if I want long fur. And here I even mix like red fur into it. Another student was asking about how to make a bruise, so I just layered my colors and mixed them together on top of the green skin. Here, to make it look like bumps, I took a light green marker, a darker green, because if I have the same color but one's darker than the other, I can use it like a shadow. I drew a circle, another circle, another circle, and filled those in. And then I took my darker colored marker and I drew just on the left side of my circles and did diagonal lines to make it look like they were three dimensional, like it had a shadow. Here I did some feathers and then I'm going to take a lighter color because I drew my dark color first and now I've got to carefully go inside of my lines. To, to do the actual feathers. Are there any other questions you might have? Okay, always start light and then put dark on top.